Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. I'm about to do something I don't normally do because I normally don't put this much love into my cars, but this is my 1994 Acura Legend 6-speed Type 2. Wanted this car for a really long time and I consider it one of the best looking cars Honda ever made. Not to mention it's the best looking car I've ever had. However, the paint's kind of letting it down. There's some oxidation in some areas, not the entire car. The hood and the roof and all that. So I thought I'd make a little video about how I hope to bring this back. I'm gonna start off by saying I'm not an expert detailer. I fix cars, I don't necessarily work on the appearance, but I figured, hey, this is certainly video worthy. The first thing I did was I went out and washed the car. This is the product that I'm using. I have not been endorsed by them, hired by them, anything. I went and bought this myself uh, just as a way to hopefully duplicate the results here on the cover. I went to Harbor Freight and picked up the six inch buffing wheel. The odd thing is, is this was $10 more than the seven inch buffing wheel. A little confused by that. Uh, the research that I've done says stay between two and three and for as much uh, oxidation as I have here, try to find a porous pad. This one is specifically designed for uh, this type of work. Here are those pads. I got this one at Harbor Freight. I also got this one for when it's time to wax after I'm all done. The research that I've done suggests that you may need to go in and wet sand. It really depends on the buffing pad and the compound that you're using. I'm just going to try straight up with the uh, buffing to see how far that gets me. But before I start, I'm going to mask off all these rubber areas so that I don't damage them at all. <laughs> Here's all the masking. I've just covered up most of the areas now. There's just a little bit of oxidation along the top of this door and this I'll probably do by hand in here. And then there's a little bit that comes down here. I don't know if they had like a ski rack or something on this, which is why this looks like it does. Uh, but the idea is to make it all even. So there's a little bit like maybe that goes down to this body line that I'll work with, but once again, like getting around these areas, I'll probably do that by hand. The major big areas are what I'm most concerned about. But the idea is to protect the rubber surfaces from the uh, buffer because that can cause a problem also in here. I'll be doing that by hand. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of the compound. I'm not gonna soak this whole thing just like one line like that to start with. The pattern I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do small areas at a time, but I'm just gonna take this to start and just sort of move this stuff around. Not a lot of pressure. And I'm gonna go this way. And then this way. It's already starting to look better. The results that I'm seeing from the initial passes, that hasn't been touched and this has. It's actually very encouraging, but you may be able to see on camera here, there's a lot of scratches. There's a lot of cracks in the paint. The paint is not doing so well especially in areas like this, you might be able to see it. So that leads me to wonder of whether or not I should just go for it and do a wet sand first. I'm gonna find my finest wet sanding paper that I have and use that. I have a feeling that this is gonna turn out well, but I also have a feeling I'm gonna be here a while. I'm applying very, very, very light pressure here. Just trying to eliminate the scratches and the the deepest offenses. Looks way better, right? So what did I do? Well, I just kind of went over it again, is all I did with the polishing compound, and it's, it's fine. Now, you can see this dull area that I'm gonna attack next, but wow. What a difference. And it feels so smooth and I haven't even waxed it yet. So is it perfect? No. But is it way better than it was? Heck yeah. I'm increasing the resale value of this vehicle dramatically by doing this.
Here's a close up look at the progress. Still a little faded there, but back here, it's looking really good. Really, really good, especially compared to the way it used to be. Well, there it is. Is it perfect? No. Is it better than it was? I think it's way better than it was. And it's a good start on the refinish that I'm doing. Let's take a closer look. All right, there it is. And you can see there was some issues here. Also, the finish looks like somebody at one time had tried to sand it or do something because these lines are straight across like, my polisher would make more swirly marks, but you can sort of see what I'm talking about here as far as the finish. I'm also gonna wax it. Uh, this was only phase one. Uh, and this faded paint on the bumper, that may be as far as I can go with it. However, if I was doing a car for resale, appearance is one of the things that sells a car more than anything, so this time spent would probably go a long way towards a return on investment. I'd say by the time I'm all said and done with this, I might have brought this car up another thousand bucks from what I was when I got it. Here's the deck lid. Once again, not perfect. You know, especially if we go out in the sunlight, I'm sure we'll see more of the imperfections. However, just the car as a whole looks way better than it did when I started. So much better. I couldn't be happier, honestly. It's got a shine to it now. Very, very happy. I'll put links in the description to the products and things that I used. I just went and picked up stuff off the shelf. I wanted to sort of most closely mimic what you might run into out there in the world, but I brought my legend up quite a bit uh, from when I started and be prepared, it's gonna take some time. In fact, I've been here all day, uh, but once again, very happy with the result, but we still got a little ways to go. Anyway, like I said, I'll link stuff in the description. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head over to airatthecarguide.com. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, or in this case, stay clean. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.